First thing uh, we need to do, we need to add more space to this canvas in the back. So I'm going up to image and I realize you can't see what I'm doing. So image, canvas size, um, right now is 13 by 17. So I make both of them 17. This can be any size, okay? This can be any size. I just wanted more room to the left and right of Captain America to <coughs> have this young man in the background, all right? So I'm clicking V as my selection tool, Z, so I can zoom out a little bit. Uh, v, because I need to make him a little bit smaller, okay? Now I'm going to focus on this young man here. I know I don't need that extra space there. So I'm going to actually get um, rid of that. Let me pause this right quick. All right. Remember before when we um, when we use um, the masking, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Let me make sure I know. Okay. Captain America is this. I put cap so we'll know what is what. And this is student. So I named that layer student. So this young man here, I'm going to drag him down to the masking tool that's this one here okay so i'm going to click this here all right don't forget guys white brings back black erases so b for brush and i'm going to get rid notice how that is just vague lightly getting rid of it that means that i need to increase my opacity that needs to be 100 okay and i'm keeping my brush um with soft edges. I'm going to imp increase that because I don't want to have you guys here all day. And even though I'm erasing some of his face, that's fine. Because we're do using the masking tool, I can always um, bring him back when I get a smaller brush. So I erase a lot on the outside, then I come to the inside. Press X. So now I can bring back the details on the inside. Um, I can bring back the details there, okay? But the way I want to do this, um, I'm going to put this young man actually behind Captain America because this is who Owen said was his favorite um, superhero. And because the superheroes are people that protect us, I think it would be a nice little touch if Captain America was in front, okay? So I'm going to put cap in the front and I have this young man in the back. Let me see how I want that to look. Maybe right there, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna press B. All right, gotta click on them. Make sure you click on the mask, guys, okay? Click on the mask. And mine looks different than yours because I'm using Adobe Creative Cloud. It's the newest version of Photoshop. But on yours, you're going to have that little white box. Same thing. So now I'm pressing B. Um, press, hold on one second. All right, so now I'm going to paint back um, the student. All right, making sure I have, uh, don't want to do that. Making sure I have my mask selected. Um, because white is the color I know when I press the B. When I press B and I come back. He will start coming back. Okay. Now it's hard to see where he is <clears throat> right now um, because the background is clear. So I'm going to add a new layer, make sure it's on the bottom, and I will make that layer um, black. Okay, so I can see where he is a little better. Going back to the student layer. I want to get rid of that white, so I'm going to press B with the brush, press X because that's the wrong one. So, all right. Now it is okay to go a little bit into the person. You don't have to be perfect. We're not going to zoom in too far on these. I'm going to clean that up in a little bit. Just want to give you guys an idea of what we're looking for. All right. Um, I'm going to get rid of this part under here because the only thing I want left to be seen is the student. Okay. 
um, right here is an issue. If you look right here, you can see there's an issue. So B, I need to get a smaller brush. That's a little too small, a little bit bigger. That should be okay. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Hold down the space bar so I can move it. Let the space bar go. Now I'm back at the brush. All right. Clean this up a little bit more. Curve that off so it won't look so abnormal. All right, clean that air up a little bit. Now I'm gonna move it over here while I have while I have my small brush and clean this up a little bit. All right, space bar to move it down. Clean up around this. Oh, that's not his gear. That's the sign or something. Maybe a locker. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I know you guys hear my sign calling me. Yeah, yeah, buddy, I'll be there. Alright. Almost done. Let me see. Clean it up a little bit. Okay, Z. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Alright. Now, we can probably add the person's name right there. And that'll be good. Let me make this Captain America a little bit small. Because this, um, he's showing it. Right a little bit too close to the edge. Okay. Something cool I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a glow <clears throat> around the Iron Man. Um, Captain America. Double click on him. Um where's my outer glow? Outer glow is here. Um, instead of being white, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna take a sample of the red from here. Click OK. Change this from screen to normal. Now this what I'm doing now guys, you don't have to worry about doing this. Okay. If you want to do it um, if you have time, you know, to see the red glow that's coming up around him, that's all I'm doing. Okay, I'm just adding that. <coughs> um, that's about it. All right, I think this is too much right here. So I'm going to get rid of a little bit more of the student. Uh, in the little slimmies. What did I just do? Pause. Okay, <coughs> I'm going to... Um, go back to the student layer. I need to get rid of this area here. It's a little bit too much of his shoulder. So I'm going to press B for the brush tool. I'm going to get a bigger brush. I'm probably very big. Not that big, but a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger than that. Alright. Because I want to erase him, but very subtly. I don't want it to be so abrupt. Alright. Kind of like a silhouette, okay? So that is <clears throat> somewhat done, okay? I'm going to disable the black layer, which is right here, by clicking on the eyeglass. So now I go to File. Um, my computer, um, I usually have Save for Web. So now I'm going to click Save As. All right. And I will put this on my desktop. Soon as this start, um, let's go. I don't see desktop but anyway. So now change this here to PNG, which is right here. All right, and now I can click save, click OK, and that should be it. I will now upload this to Owen's page, and you guys can see how it looks tomorrow.